This is an updated video about how to create an end screen on YouTube. YouTube have recently updated their user interface for adding an end screen. So in today's video, I want to show you how you can navigate it and also how you can add your end screen. There are two ways that you can add an end screen. The first is of course when you are initially posting a video. So when you're posting your video, the first step of course is to add your details. Then you need to choose what monetization settings you want for your video. And then the next step is to add an end screen. And you do that by clicking on the add link here next to add an end screen. And this is how you can add an end screen. And this is the first way that you can access the end screen template. I'm just going to discard changes and I'm going to X out. The second way that you can access your end screen is by going to YouTube studio when you are at your home page, then click on videos on the navigation bar, choose a video that you want to edit the end screen for, or for which you want to add an end screen. In this case, I'm going to choose, let's say for example, this video, I'm going to click on the pencil icon. Then on the right hand side, I'm going to click on the pencil icon next to where it says end screen. So this is the new user interface for creating an end screen. As you can see, it resembles a video editing software in my opinion. So to add an end screen to the last 20 seconds of your video, the first thing that I need to do is that I'm going to delete what I have here by clicking on the bin icon. So you can see I have a video here and my subscribe button and again I click on it and now I have a fresh page here where I can add different things. So you can choose from two possibilities. You can either click on the link import from video and this is where you can choose from your posted videos. So for example if I want to add this MailChimp tutorial video I simply click on it and you can see that it has added it to my end screen. Another possibility is to choose from this link here where it says end screen. And this gives you different possibilities. The first possibility is to choose from your posted videos. Then you can choose from playlists. You can add a subscribe button. You can also add a different channel link. So for example, if you have more than one channel and you want to promote that channel, you can add it to your end screen. And also you have the possibility to add an external link. So for example, a website or a shop or things like that. So I'm going to add two videos and a subscribe button to my end screen. To do that, I can click on video or I can choose from the layout section here. So YouTube have created pre-built templates that we can choose from just to keep things organized on our end screen. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to select this template here by clicking on it. You can see that I have the blank elements now displayed on my video and I can fill them by clicking on them. So for example, this first one here, I click on it. Then I can choose from most recent upload or I can choose a specific video or I can also click on the link end screen and choose from any of these options here. I'm going to choose specific video. And the first video that I want to add is the MailChimp video. So I'm going to click on it and you can see that it has added it right there. The next element that I want to fill is this one. So I'm going to click on it and I'm going to fill it with another video. So again, I'm going to choose from specific video and I'm going to select this video here by clicking on it. And you can see that it has filled it with this second video. For the subscribe button, I don't need to do anything because YouTube will automatically add it right there. So you can see that my video is 11 minutes and about 32 seconds long and the video elements will pop up the last 20 seconds of my video. All right. Now, if I scroll down, you can see that it has added my video elements to the last 20 seconds of my video. And you can also see that my subscribe button is right there as well. So if you want to play this back, we can do that by clicking on the play icon. Guys, thank you so much for watching this video. If you found this video. Great. We can also rearrange any of the elements by clicking and then we can drag it to where we want it to go. And I can drag this one up here as well, just to rearrange it slightly and drag this down. Now, let me play that back again. Guys, thank you so much for watching this video. The final thing I want to mention is that if you want to create an outro like this, so you go to Google search, you type into the search area, background images, 
You can also type a specific color. So say, for example, blue. OK, then you click on images. You want the largest image size, so you go to tools, click on it and choose large. And that will display the largest images first. And then you can choose from any of these images, say, for example, this one here. Then I save it onto my computer by right clicking and select save image as. And then you can add this image or whatever image you have downloaded to the last 20 seconds of your video. You know, once you upload your video, you can then add an end screen to this part of your video. So this is how easy it is. You can also add text. You can do whatever you want. So I hope you found this video useful and valuable. If you have, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already done so. Take care and see you in the next video. Bye bye.